GAINS! 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 GAINS are what we're seeing everywhere right now. And if you listen to my last few videos... <laughs> but if you didn't listen... Oh. Oh. Oh! That's too bad. Did someone take their parents' advice not to listen to strangers who are better looking, more muscular, and scream poop jokes on the internet? Did you take that a little bit too seriously? That's just terrible. Especially now that you have to see these mother at Christmas and explain your lack of GRINDS! Yep, that's just gonna be super awkward. And look, I get it, my scrawny, unfed lad. You might be thinking to yourself, as you sit there with your completely unpacked bags, like a person about to leave on a six-week vacation of burrito tasting in Mexico with one pair of underwear. And now you have to look in the mirror. Oh, you have to look in the mirror and think to yourself, wow, I'm such a loser. How am I going to face my parents? How am I going to look them in the eye in my poopy, unpacked burrito, 16 layers of queso underpants? <laughs> but you see, it's okay. Kumasaka. It's all right. Take it easy. You're in the right place. Because you see, in just my last few videos, I've helped so many scrawny, unfed, sad lads such as yourself. For example, in the last few videos, Citus up 300%, Big Pick Super 500%, even big coins like Beam up 200%, Miria flying, aka what we like to call. Because you see, at Christmas this year, we're gonna flip the script. Because what we're seeing right now is special. We're seeing the first rotation from Bitcoin to ETH to, you guessed it, dirty, red-like, thick, hippo-sized gains from the dank, dirty coins we like to talk about on this channel. These are gonna allow you to be the big man at Christmas. You see, everyone's gonna watch you walk in and be like, wow, look at this guy with his giant packed bags. Your father's gonna look at your portfolio and apologize for serving such cheap wine. Your brother's gonna ask you to his wife and your uncle will be waiting patiently by the toilet at all times waiting to flush your sty in return for coin picks doesn't that sound nice now if you can take a moment from fantasizing about pooping in front of your uncle it's it's time to focus because as i just said with a straight face we are seeing something really special about to happen in the market this is the first time it's happened in this bull run that we're sort of getting and if it works like every other bull run this is going to money that said this is risky as f so please read the disclaimer thank you because i don't have five minutes to talk about risk like i do in other videos this video is gonna be a doozy so we have to get going so you're gonna have to be a competent responsible adult for the first time in your life and do your own research before buying coins like that is going to happen you filthy baboons but whatever let's just get into this i'm going to give you the loaded gun you can go play with it I have warned you that there is a pencil sharp in the room if you want to put your dick in it and turn it on that is not me so what we need to do right now first is we need to look at the history of Bitcoin because if you're terrible traders like we are, by the way, you're a terrible trader. Don't don't be going into Christmas with your new profits and be like, I'm a trader on the internet now. No, we are idiots riding an uptrend in Bitcoin, this bull market. This is not something we can do unless we are looking at the silliest, silliest of trading scenarios in the world, which is what we are looking at right now in crypto. So please get that through your head. We are not trying to trade the market like some NASDAQ Forex hedge fund trader, what we need to do right here and the best way we can get ahead is understanding how the market has performed in the past and looking at the behaviors. Now, there are two things we need to do first. First, we need to look at our odds of actually making money or at least the logic behind what I'm about to talk about right here. And then we need to look at the rotation effect in crypto. Don't worry if you're here for just crypto coin picks and just say, oh, I'm just going to thoughtlessly buy. Whatever this dude in sunglasses in a dark room screams out, don't worry, we'll, we'll get to that point in the video. Don't worry, I'll be here to help you hold your dick while you pee very shortly. But for the few people here that actually want to learn something and learn how to actually do this on their own and get results without having to be called a small, unfed lad at the intro of every video, here's what we're doing. So, what's about to happen in the market? I always get people asking me this. I always see people talking about what's going to happen in the market. Nobody knows no one knows anybody claiming to know is an idiot there's three things in my opinion that are likely to happen and i want to talk about the odds of them and again these are not certain odds we are either right here you see this run up right here before the bull run and then there's this crash right here now i don't think COVID is going to happen again but there's a chance for a recession in q1 or something like that so we could see you know in our gaming portfolio bags we're at right now i don't think we're going back to the lows we were at before and the coins I'm about to talk about in this video and the coins I've been talking about on the channel, I don't think we're going to the lows we were before, but we could easily see a nice 50, 70% loss on these things. They're up 5x now. 
some of them. The good news is we're way closer to the huge giant crypto bull run I think is coming than we are away from it. So even if we eat a big bag of poo right here, we just have to hold on to it and it'll be just fine. And the portfolios, the way they're positioned, we're going to eat a nice 20, 30 X gain when the bull run comes. So that's cool. That sucks a little bit. We have to wait a little bit longer. That's fine. Or what we're looking at right now is Bitcoin is just not going to go back down much. We're not going to get a recession. We're just going to have a nuclear bull run in 2024. And at this point, our, get, our bags again are going to 20, 30 X. So Finally, the last thing that happened is our bags are completely nuke and crypto never comes back ever again and crypto gaming doesn't happen and crypto dies completely and gets banned from the world by aliens. I don't see that happening. So if we're walking up to the roulette table in Vegas right now, it's like we're able to spin the ball and we have two thirds odds our portfolio will 20x and we have one third odd it will just get absolutely nuked and go to zero, which is a super real possibility right here. I have to stress that. And these odds are just my logic. I could be completely wrong. I'm not your financial advisor. This is the last time I tell you to turn off this channel. What the hell are you doing here? So that being said with that logic, I'm completely willing to have about 5% of my net worth right here and just spin the wheel and hope for the best. That's what I'm doing here. I'm not sitting here telling the market's going to go up, Kino Sabi. I'm not sitting here saying, oh, I know something that the whole entire world doesn't know. I'm telling you, I have no clue which direction it's going to go but i think the odds are in our favor knowing this and knowing how bitcoin performs in the past so for example if we look at this bitcoin run up here from october 3rd to uh the 9th of january all right so keep those dates in mind now if we go look at ethereum right here and we go back to october 3rd let's go find that date da, 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 october 3rd to January. All right, so you can see right here in the, there, there's a bit of the delay and ETH went second. So look at December 15th right here. This is when ETH really started to move. And you can see it hit its peak on May 8th. And so what I want you to take away from this as we look at these charts is I'm not predicting these run-ups right here. I, I told you I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but what I am strongly predicting is that Bitcoin is going to go first. We just saw that. You can see right here, Bitcoin started its ascent about a month before uh, ETH really started moving. And if we go and look at it, it hit its peak about two months before ETH hit its peak. And so what you need to understand, so what you need to understand is that this is the pattern that Bitcoin and ETH and the rest of the coins always fall. Bitcoin goes first, then ETH goes second, and then ETH will hit its peak after Bitcoin hits its peak. So they move like this. So here's the part of this that is very relevant to us because we trade smaller coins to get much, much higher returns. Bitcoin's probably gonna give like a 4X this run if we get a mega bull run. That's a $200,000 Bitcoin almost. ETH is probably gonna give like a 5X, 6X. Top 100 altcoins, probably 10, 15 Xs. We get into the areas that we're diving into, we're looking at those 15, 20, 30 Xs. So what you need to understand is that Bitcoin's gonna go, then ETH is gonna go, then the top 100 coins are going to go, and then the coins we deal in are going to go. And so these all go in waves, and they actually all hit their peaks following each other like this. But as the bull run goes, what happens is before anything crashes, I, we are getting a bull run now. I don't think we're about to look at some big crash. But what happens is so Bitcoin's going to go and then chill out on a bull run, and then ETH is going to go and chill out, and then other coins are going to go and chill out, and then smaller coins are going to go and chill out, and then Bitcoin's going to go up again. And it's going to follow this trend. They follow each other just like this. Why does this happen? There's many reasons we can theorize. My logic is just simply people make profits in Bitcoin, then they move it to ETH, then this. And then also everybody knows about this pattern. So when you start to see Bitcoin move, what you want to do is you get ahead of it like a wide receiver catching a football and you move in these coins or these coins. Or if you're nice and boring, you just move into Ethereum. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. So what we're seeing in Bitcoin right now in the last month is it's entered what I like to call the up only Dursley mode. And if you're you're new to this channel, you probably don't know about the government mandated Dursley market climate indicator. And if, for example, and so for example, Bitcoin has recently hit up only Dursley. Now we haven't gone straight into Degen Dursley yet. And if we hit past 50K, that's hitting straight face melting Dursley. You need to take cover, get your family out of the state of California because they're not going to make it in that situation. But while it's an up only Dursley mode, it's created this effect that's going to ripple throughout the market. And so what we just saw in the market is Bitcoin just went up 
and it's it's now chilling out. Here's it here's its peak right here before it chills out. Now, what is happening to Ethereum? Ethereum is now making its move. It's it's bouncing up bigly now. And so it's again, we're seeing the same effect right here. So what we're probably gonna see is Ethereum is probably gonna start going up even more, maybe 2400, 2450, I don't know. I don't call prices. When that happens, we're gonna see Ethereum chill out and then we're gonna see everything roll into Solana, AVAX, Polygon, you know, the top 25 coins. And then we're gonna see everything start to pile into where we like to hang out, which is those mid caps, which are those lower caps, which is those gaming markets that I like to play in. That's where we've been seeing all the gains at. Now, Young King Wasabi, I cannot always make videos like this. I make one of these videos once every two weeks. That's why it's important that you follow me on Twitter at CSS Becker. I will announce this. I will talk about it. I'm also very lazy, so that's that's the best place for me to make lazy content. Also, if you just generally like me, follow me on Instagram at 4am Becker, and I will show you pictures of food. That's the value pitch. That's it. So, where does this leave us? What where, What scheme are we trying to get away with here? Well, the number one thing we're trying to do in this situation right here is we're trying to beat the herd of people, as JRNY would say. We're trying to go and get here before everybody else, get this, and then savagely dump on them. Let's not, let's not be straight here. We're trying to sell our coins, guys. What the plan is in this bull market is we want to go up, up, up. We want all the retail investors to come in. Everyone's grandmother. We want when people to start coming and go, oh, crypto is trustworthy. Then we can say, wrong, and then dump all over them. That's what we're trying to do here. Let's be honest. And so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get here first so we can buy these bags very cheaply and sell them up here. At this point in the market, I have to be completely transparent with you. Let's go look at let's go look at the gaming coins. Looking at one of my favorites right here, Cedify, for example. This thing right here is up from 75 cents to three dollars. It's, it's pulled a 6x. If you looked at my videos six months ago where I talked about these coins right here, or even a month ago when these were one third the price they are now, you got in pretty early, so you're in a pretty safe spot right now. You're buying these things when they're up a 6x, so you better hope we get a bull run right here. Are you going to be in a little bit of trouble? We could go, I'd say, back down to like right here in, in the entire gaming portfolio. Same thing with every other coin out there as well. So that's the risk we're dealing with right now. I, I told you a month ago, I told you six months ago, be prepared for this and go on for gold. I don't make the rules here. Just that's what happened. This is the position you're in right now, being honest with you. So you could be the grandma who gets dumped on in this situation. So please enter into this knowingly. That being said, what we have to look at with these coins is that this is where we're at right now, and this is the old all-time highs. And if we see a bull run right now, Bitcoin is going way higher than it did before. More people are going to enter the market than ever before. We are going to probably go past these all-time highs in gaming, which is where I like to operate, and I'll talk about why here in a second. Actually, I'll tell you about it right now. If we go if we go and look at the gaming sector right now, it is by far the hottest narrative in all of gaming. It is hot with a sweaty, wet spit aftertone afterwards. Why is it hot? Go watch my other videos. I've explained this a thousand times. All you need to know right now for this video is it's delivering the best returns. If you actually want to research this trade, this skill you're actually trying to get into and bet your life savings on, I would advise doing that instead of being an absolute dick and just hopping in here, throwing in bags and stuff you don't understand based on a dude screaming. I, I would really suggest you just actually go and actually learn this skill. But f it, what do I know? The reason... I'm really into these as they provide the best returns. This is the hottest narrative right now. And I think as Bitcoin starts to increase a lot more, this is going to get bigger than it ever was before. And what we're seeing right now is top coins like IMX and Beam, in my opinion right here, really making runs for the top 10. I think Render is, is good, but it's not really tied to gaming. Beam is the first like pure gaming and it's actually tagged up with Immutable now. And I think these are gonna crack the top 10. Probably Immutable will. As soon as it happens, like my buddy Elliot talked about, who's my founder partner at NT, or Neo Tokyo, I think this is all just gonna go absolutely nuts and we're gonna go well past our all-time highs. So if you look at like Alluvium right here, go look at the, the all-time chart right here, we're not even denting where these coins have been at. So like I said, if we get a big bull run, I think we're going back up here. So while your bags might not have been packed early, you might be on the flight that crypto Fiji right now with one pair of underpants, you still have time to hit the convenience store and, and pack a few extra pairs of underpants. You're going to be prepared as that creepy nerdy guy in the back with 50 pairs of underpants in case he shits his pants 50 times. No. But you'll be safe enough-ish, maybe. Ah, just put your life savings in. It's fine. That's a joke. That's a joke. Someone's going to screen cap that and be like, Becky told everyone to put their life savings in at the top. It's a joke. 
It's a joke. Where do we want to move from here? What coins do we want to get into? How can we get the best cutting edge on this? So I focus primarily in gaming. That's that's where I focus on. That's that's the niche I focus on. I, if you watch my last microcap video, please go watch that one. It's informative. You can learn how to do this. I focus on just one niche, but this applies to all niches in crypto. So you can use my logic here to actually be smart and do this other places. And I strongly suggest as I talk about coins right here in my lodge behind them, you don't buy the coins. I'm going to be completely transparent with you. I have invested in all the coins that I like. Weird, right? I also work with a lot of these projects that I like. I reached out to the bear. So I like your project. Let's work together. On top of that, there's a lot of people watching these videos. And sometimes people are going to buy these coins because they want to sell them on top of you. So I'm telling you, Strongly use my logic in these videos. Don't go buy the coins I'm talking about unless you really like the coins. You've done your research because myself and everybody else in the market is looking to buy these coins. And if you're late to it or you don't know what you're doing, looking to sell them. I sell my coins. People watching this video sell their coins. No one's going to bag hold for you. So please, I'm encouraging you to use my logic here. It's the last time I'm going to tell you that. If it's two months from now and I sell my coins, you're like, Becker sold his coins. Yes, I'm here to make a profit just like you are. So enter the arena with me, but I'm not going to hold your dick and walk you around and kill people for you. You're going to have to put your dick in your own hand and go fight people on your own. So knowing that, I'm going to show you my logic here and how I plan to take advantage of this move. Specifically the rotation into mid caps that I think is about to happen. You, I think we have about a week, two weeks for this to happen. And like always, I'm going to talk about the coins from lowest risk, which all of them carry massive risk, to massive risk this is like this is like let's get drunk do some lsd and run around a police station nude risk like it's it's probably not going to work out but you might walk away with a hell of a story where am i going to be looking at and where should we be diving into the first tip i have to give you if you are serious about crypto gaming i know a lot of people watch this channel just for that you should be inside neo tokyo there's almost not a single large project or founder or large investor in gaming crypto that is not inside neo tokyo that's myself and elias trades nft group it's like a country club for crypto gaming networking you should check it out. There's a link in my Twitter bio. And just lastly, no, this isn't me pitching you some paid calls group where you come in and I pitch you stuff. This is a members group. It's exactly what I just described. If you buy an NFT in it, you're buying it from someone else, not me. I don't have some giant bag of NFTs I want to sell you. And if you want to be on the absolute cutting edge of what I'm talking about right here, you are serious about being in crypto gaming. It is absolutely insane not to be there at this point in time so what coins do we want to move into so if you're just like you're on this channel this is the first time you're here and you're like what the what the hell is going on here hi i'm alex i'm an idiot i sit in my garage and lift things and scream at people on the internet but if you're new here and you are just brand new to crypto and like you just want some basic you know i i don't know what i'm doing man just throw me something i would go after abax when it comes to crypto gaming, I think this has the strongest narrative. And we talked about this literally, not to toot my horn or twist my nipples at you, but we talked about it right here a month ago. It's here now. I think it's going to keep moving, though. If you look at the all-time high right here, I think it's going to go well past its all-time high in the bull run. I think it's going to go to, I think it's going to go way, way past this. I hate calling prices. I think it's going to go way past this. Double, triple. And so I think that's probably like the juiciest high gainish big coin you could go after right now i think it has a super strong narrative in gaming so many really good games like shrapnel off the grid are coming out of it it's, it's really 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 powerful now the next large cap kind of big coin i'd be getting into and this is probably like the biggest coin i hold in my portfolio i really like to do some crazy stuff but again this is like if we're going and boxing you're walking to a boxing gym for the first time guys you're gonna be boxing like this. You wanna take as little risk as possible. You don't wanna get hit in the face. That's your only rule. You might throw a punch here and there. You might move a little bit, but your main goal is don't get punched in the face. When a person gets really good at boxing, they might drop their hands, they might move around stuff because they know how to get back and play defense. You have no idea how to play defense. So while I don't really dabble in these coins as much, that's because I can go and bob and weave and throw punches and then lose all my money anyways. But if you're bigger, you want to focus on more defensive coins. So the biggest one I would get into in gaming, and if you just want to stop right here, Immutable X. They actually just partnered with Beam and Polygon, making it probably like the mafia of crypto gaming at this point in time. Immutable X is also about to join Neo Tokyo right now, or at least we're in talks. Now, if we're looking at the big coin after that that I would go for, it's just Beam all day they are partnered with imx the biggest coin in the space 
They are partnered with Polygon. They're all coming together to make like some Goku Super Saiyan throw laser beams at people thing. That's what they do on that TV show. That's what they're taking up to be. And where these work really well as, and, the, and again, I talk about this every video, we're not trading actual technology here. I love the technology for a lot of the things I'm gonna talk about here. That being said, we're trading narratives. We're trading other people's belief and views about them. And when it comes to the marketing views, belief, whatever, Beam hits all the right points. It has infrastructure that allows games to basically build around it. Infrastructure is what you want to look for in gaming if you're looking for the big chunky coins because they plug into everything. It has the marketing. It has the narrative. It has the founder. It just does everything right. So if I'm really going to get started, I'm going to probably get started at Beam. And again, as I go down this portfolio, guys, I'm going to talk about the coins and the way I'm viewing them so that you can look at the logic behind them. What coins have a similar narrative I just talked about with Beam? Do that. There's tons of exciting stuff happening in the AI space. And you don't have to be in the hottest niche ever to catch a 5X. You can find small coins that are being completely ignored and then they just go Pfft. So skipping down past that, it's sort of weird that Super isn't in this list right here because it is a quite a large market cap. If I'm going underneath Beam, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight for Super. I talked about this a month ago. I said, don't don't doubt Ilya Trades. I literally said, this is what we're looking at. This looks good. And, 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 and there it goes. The bigger point is Elliot knows exactly the direction he wants to take this. He's been in the space forever. He's the most networked person I know by far in the space. There's so much infrastructure and actual backbone of games that's being built around here. And so I think this comes up like right underneath Beam is where I'm going to go to next. There's so many things it has going for it, which is again, the first thing we want to look at is narrative. Does it have the narrative? Yes. And if I'm looking at a big coin, I want it to be an infrastructure coin. I, 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 there are some big games out there that have giant market caps of games, but I usually like to look for the infrastructure because it can run in so many other different ways. Is it infrastructure? Infrastructure, yes. Does it have the founder? Yes. Does it have the partnerships, the marketing? Yes. It's it's all there. Of what I'm looking for. So again, I'm just going to go for super. I've been I've talked about it here. I talked about it here. I'm talking about it here. Because again, if we look at where super was. It's nowhere near its all-time high. And this is back when Super didn't have any infrastructure, didn't have anything. It was just new. Now we got a battle-hardened CEO. We got all the partnerships for it. I think it's obvious. Now, there's a few other just big, chunky gainers out there that I really like. So another one that has a really powerful narrative, I think similar to Beam, is going to be Miria. And I talked about it last video about a month ago. And it's, it's doing super-duper fantastic. It's also somewhat of a newer coin. So we haven't even seen what this thing can do yet. Again, it is infrastructure and it's a lot smaller market cap of infrastructure than say, for example, Beam. So if we're looking for higher returns at a little bit more risk, we're gonna take a swing at something like Miria. Other top coin I'm gonna look at, if I'm getting into this, is going to be Cedify. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second when I get into launch pads, because I think that's one of the big things that's overlooked here, along with GambleFi, which I'll talk about here in a second. Again, we're just talking about like if I'm building a portfolio that I don't want to manage and I, I don't want super duper high risk, this is all massive high risk, but if the entire gaming market goes up, all these are going to go up as well. If we get into the lower games, the, the market could take off and they could just be completely forgotten. That's the real risk we're playing with the lower we get down. If the whole entire market goes up, all these will go up and so you're like, you're going to make money. If the market goes down, you will not make money. You will have to wait and hold your bag. Like a person who just went to their girlfriend's parents' house for the first time, took a number two and clogged the toilet. You're just going to have to sit there with what you've done and hope some miracle happens that lets you get away with it. Or you just have to walk out, look your girlfriend's parents in the eyes and say, I'm a man, someone handle that. But <laughs> hide your wives, hide your kids, Alex Becker's given dating advice. So next thing I'm going to look at, and I'm going to talk about Cedify a little bit more in a second here is Cedify. Why, 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 why? All right. So if you look at one coin I really, really like right now, but I'm not like telling you to buy and I'm never going to tell you to buy any coins. I'm not one of those influencers like, yeah, buy this. You're going to get rich. No, you're going to lose all your money. You're an idiot for watching this video. Don't listen to anything I say. But a coin I really like right here is Inspect. It's a layer two. It plugs right into Twitter, turns it into a marketplace. It's actually absurd everything this project does. I think it's going to be a huge runner, but it's really, really new. And when a coin launches straight out of IDEO, a better one to look at is like Super. Just to make this point, because I'm going to be talking about IDEOs a lot in this video. If we go look at Super, 
if you were here the first day, like this thing went to like two dollars, like fifty cents, like all over the place. It was it was nuclear. And so don't look at this chart right here and be like, this is what every IDO does. Actually, a funny story about this as I edit it. Uh, I actually learned this IDO lesson from Super. Uh, this is before I knew Elliot. So Super drops a day of, and I'm new to crypto. I'm like, I'm gonna get inside by buying it first. And so it pops up to two dollars. I'm like, well, that's fine. I'm just gonna get it right now. It's not that bad. This is buying it up like 200x. And so all these bots bought it at like 30 cents. And then I just got turbo dumped on. So like tens of thousands of dollars just lit on fire. And I'm running around the house distraught. Like, Crypto's a scam. Ah! So yeah, you, could, you should just avoid all that and listen to me right here. Uh, Super was chaos when it released. A lot of people who were new came in here and just got chopped the heck up right here. So when you see a new coin drop, it's really dangerous to buy it right after it drops. That being said, I would really check out Inspect. I've talked about it a little bit on my Twitter. I would check it out. I would look at it. I think this project's going to do fantastic. But from the pre-sale prices, it's done like a 15, 20x. So if you got it pre-sale price, you're sitting on a 20x right now. You're just fine. You know, people are getting this at two cents. It's at 22 cents now. Something around there. Cedify, for example, gives access to these. So you go on the Cedify, you buy a bunch of them, their coin, and you get access to the pre-sales. Therefore, you get essentially in a bull run, a giant return from all these pre-sales you're able to get into. So Cedify gives access to that. In gaming, it's by far the top what is called Launchpad. As gaming takes off, Cedify is doing so many other things with their project. It was one of my top picks. We actually grabbed the last bull run right here. It's one of our top returners. Then we sold it up here. We do sell coins. Remember, when the market does this, I want to be like, hey, buy. When stuff starts to get FOMO and euphoric, I'm never going to tell you to buy. It. I'm never going to tell you about coins and then sell them next day. But two months from now, three months from now, if we see this, heck, even one month from now, I'll sell coins. So please keep that in mind this channel. Don't be shocked when I and everybody else watching this video starts to sell coins. So before we get in this, no, you're entering the arena. So... Again, we got in right here, this bull market. So it looks like we're training up to do the same thing again. But see if I have so many other things going on in it. They're building so much other infrastructure, a gaming studio behind it now. I've known the CEO for a long time. This is just something I look for. And it's such an obvious play with its position in gaming. And I'll talk about launch pads a little bit more here in a second. I think launch pads are just going to be stupid strong for that exact narrative, particularly ones that are in gaming. Bytes at Neo Tokyo works the same way. If you're a member of Neo Tokyo, you get to invest in pre-sales. And one of the things that citizens at the, and one of the things one of our members bought, and one of the things one of our members built was a pre-sale platform that runs around Neo Tokyo. And so we bring in the best projects from there, all the people that have joined Neo Tokyo, and give our community access. So for example, they just got access to Treeverse, which is, I think, one of the best projects that's going to launch this year. There's other ones in the works. And, and by the way, every project I've mentioned so far, they are all members of Neo Tokyo every single one. It's not that I'm like picking projects that are just in Neo Tokyo. You're really not going to find a good project that isn't in Neo Tokyo. Gala, Beam, Alluvium, Cedify, Vulcan Forged, Nakamoto Games, Star Atlas, Miria, Veracity, Cytus, Wagme, d Races joining soon, Altura. They're all here. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these other products are in here. I just haven't caught up with their founders yet. So the final other big coin that I'd be kind of looking at is Altura. Again, this is just a favorite from last bull run. They have so much infrastructure for NFTs and gaming. It plugs in. They have so many partners and games that they plug in. And they basically allow you to build and import NFT infrastructure into your game really easily and provide all these assets and stuff for your users. I know this sounds like mumbo jumbo. This is the narrative. This is why people are buying it. It's great technology, but again, they're well known. They have the brand. And if you saw how they performed last bull run, we grabbed it right here. We sold up here. We grab them back down right here. I think they're going to perform really well this bull run because they got the brand name. Everybody remembers them from the last run. There's a lot of reasons the last video I explained why I think Altura is going to do really well too. Now, the next places I'd be looking for kind of more safer bets is I would be looking at Wagme Games and Nakamoto Games. Why? Why am I, why am I looking at these studios in particular? All right, one, they're pretty new. Um, but Wagme and Nakamoto are really focusing on mobile gaming. And if you've been around me for a bit, I'd say and talk about mobile gaming and crypto all the time. I don't, I, there are some AA games that are coming out that I think are going to dominate. Like Off the Grid, I think Shrapnel is going to do really well. 
uh, off the grid, I think is going to do especially well. That being said, I think the series of more near future consistent hits that we're going to see, and we're going to see this consistently hitting over and over, is going to be mobile games. Why? Because most gamers are playing on their phone. That's just what it is. If you look at, for example, Genshin Impact, the, where they're making most of their money isn't on a person on their PlayStation 4. It's on people on their phones. It's on people on mobile devices. Wagme, for example, is really, really focused on mobile crypto and gaming. They're making all sorts of that. That's where they're going all into. And they got the marketing. They got the founders. They got everything else I'm looking for. So when it comes to studios and gaming, that's what I'm looking for, as well as Nakamoto games for the right reason. They're just constantly releasing new stuff after new stuff. And the cool thing about Nakamoto is you can actually launch your own games on there. So it takes all of it in. They're focusing on the right places. These are the two studios that I'm looking at, and those are really the only ones I invest in at the moment. I'll probably invest in other games in other studios. And by the way, there's tons and tons of other really great gaming coins out there. I would suggest, hey, maybe take what I'm talking about in this video and look and find other coins like this in gaming. You can totally do it. I can only put my dick in so many puddles. There, I don't want to be invested in hundreds of games. You really want a portfolio, if you're new to this, of, of five projects, maybe 10 max. I can deal with kind of, you know, 20, 25. Even that makes me an insane person. So again, there's so many other projects out there. Now, one of the last chunky projects I'm looking at that has just done so well for us is Citus. And there's a lot of things going on over here. First off, they have the, the hot game narrative coming in. It has the attention. It's been one of the best returners this bull run. So everybody's looking at it. They have a really good game. They have a lot of good promotions. But what Citus is also doing that is working really well is they're burning a lot of their coins, so they're lowering the supply, and they're adding utility by putting in a launch pad. Now, I don't think their launch pad is going to be as big as Cedify, but I do think it's going to add a lot of utility. I know Cyrus is going to be like, why are you saying that? I'm like, I'm just being honest. I don't think it's going to be as big as Cedify, you know? And I don't think it's going to be as big as some dedicated launch pads. What I do think it's going to add a lot of utility to the coin with their game, with the burns. I think it's just going to be super bullish tokenomics, and so I think the way it's squeezing, it's it's like this... It's like a pimple. I'm not saying it's a pimple. I'm saying it's like this amount of momentum that is being squeezed upward and I think is going to do really, really well in a bull run situation. So I think Citus is going to continue to perform. Next thing I want to talk about is some more Koi plays. These are kind of the dirty, dirty ones. The high risk plays. And I'm just going to tap on these and I really don't suggest you guys buy these in these videos. I want you to look at how I'm looking at these and then find similar ones. So in this niche right now, one of the things I think is most overlooked is GambleFi. Few reasons. A lot of gambling coins don't even show up on the gaming chart right here. So what you have to understand is that everybody in crypto, what they're doing is they go and load up this chart. Nobody actually does any research here. That's silly. I mean, every you you don't do any research. You just come here and watch me scream at my computer and lift heavy objects. So a lot of GambleFi games just aren't on this list. And what most people do is they come through this list and they're like, where's that? Where's the low market cap? And they scroll down here and they're like, where, where, where? And it's not the best way to go about doing this. And I did scroll across a few coins right now that I think are good picks, but are a little bit too low market cap for me to pick in the GambleFi space. So I'm not going to do that. So why do I think gambling is going to be absolutely huge? These are the simplest games to build, and if you build in the right way, they're also the most addicting, and they have the most long-term use. If you go and make Elden Rings of crypto, people are going to play it for a month, and then that's it. That's how people played Elden Ring. One of the best games of all time. It has two months of playtime, and you go... Pfft. Gambling games, people just log in every damn day. Now, for example, I've been using the same uh, gambling site I used since I was... 24 years old. I've been using this damn site. I've been a customer for years. That's because it's a it's a piece of crap site. Everything about it's terrible, but I keep using it. Doesn't matter. You can make really successful gambling businesses, and gambling and crypto goes together like peanut butter and jelly. It's it just fits. And I think it's probably, if not, the strongest narrative next to mobile gaming, in my opinion. So, easy one we can start off with is D Race, who is about to join Neo Tokyo. By the way, all the other projects I mentioned, they're in Neo Tokyo. It's not that I mentioned projects just in Neo Tokyo, it's just all the good projects I like. I reached out, I'm like, hey, you should be in Neo Tokyo. I talk to the projects I like. So that's where it's coming from. That being said, D-Race is a really good example of this. It's a horse racing game. People, they own NFT horses, which I think is really cool. They race them, then you can bet on them. What a dream. <laughs> it's about as degenerate as it gets. D-Race is one of my favorite picks last bull run. I'm not a massive investor in D-Race right now. They are also about to join Neo Tokyo as well. I'm, I'm talking to them about it. You should come. We're going to have a, literally an entire gambling section of Neo Tokyo where people are talking about the gambling coins and all the things they're sharing. And a lot of the projects I'm about to talk about are in there. That being said, D-Race just fits this bill really well. I think it's one of the bigger gambling coins out there. 
Another one I found that recently hit a large enough market cap that I can actually talk about it is blockchain bets. And so what this is, it's kind of more of a generic gambling site. Now it's it's done really well recently because people are starting to discover this. And, and one of the ways it works that's really cool is it actually shares revenue of people that own the coin. Now, I really like blockchain bets because it's probably the best put together sports crypto platform I've seen in a while. And it's right at a really good entry point or was. I'm not saying like, again, what you want to look for in Gamblify is what I'm looking for right here. You can find a lot of other projects I'm invested in if you use this logic right here. So I'm not telling the logic I use to buy it like back here. You look for the project in the space that have their crap together, are taking on a lot of users. That's the main thing I look for in Gamblify, users. Because users generate revenue, <laughs> which is an actual business. You look at a good team and you look for them to have their shit together. And really those are only two in market cap levels I'm comfortable talking about. There's another poker project I've been an investor in for a really long time. I talked about it a lot last bull run. It's a little bit too low right now, but it's flying up in users. Their team is put together. They're actually generating revenue. I'll probably talk about it a little bit later into the bull run when that ship has not sailed, but if I talk about something at a tiny, tiny market cap that's just not responsible with a, a channel my size. So I'm not gonna be picking out, but the thing, place I would be looking at is Gamblefy. Look across the board, across all of it. It's really missed and overlooked, and a lot of it's not on the gaming charts, so people are overlooking it. They're not gonna overlook it when the bull run actually gets going. And people are digging these up. You can see people are starting to sniff it out like blockchain bets. And then find the other place I'm gonna look is I would look at the launch pads. Okay, I already talked about Cedify. I think that's just gonna keep doing great. I think I'm not telling you to get in on bytes. I don't ever really tell people to buy bytes in Neotoka, but it works very similar to Cedify, but does so many other things too. I think it's gonna do very, very well. I think SitCap, the launch pad that our members have built, I think it's gonna do really, really well. The other launch pad I'm looking at based on how it performed last born, and also I just know the founder of it, and he probably one of the better connected people in the space, and they've came back from so much, here's what they actually got hacked at, uh, is gonna be paid network. Last born when they were one of the best launch pads there were. The way they're structuring the launch pad right now, I think is going to crush it. And more importantly, everybody's building a gaming launch pad right now. Paid Network is like that big general launch pad that is really going to cover a lot of bases that are not gaming. Everyone, their dog's like, we're a gaming launch pad now. I think that's covered by Cedify. I think that's covered by Neo Tokyo. And Citus is coming up right in there. So I, th I think that's really covered. And everyone, their dog is doing that. No one's really building that general launch pad. And I don't think the narrative in crypto is going to be gaming the entire bull run. It is right now. It's been very strong. I think it'll be strong the entire bull run. But I, I don't think the meta is going to constantly be gaming at all times. And launch pads that have access to other types of niches, I think are going to do very, very well. Finally, what do I think is coming out in gaming that I think you should definitely be looking at? So, Inspect is really new. I talked about that. I already talked about it enough, so I'm not going to talk about it very much more. One of the projects I'm most excited about in the space is Godzilla. There's various reasons for it. I think this has the chance to actually be like the first big AAA game. If you want to go see the gameplay and whatnot, you should go check out their, their Twitter. You should go dig into actually everything that's going on there. You see Dr. Disrespect playing it. I think it's going to be absolutely huge. So what you should do is you should watch out for this because it's not coming for a bit. The token is not releasing, so this is early alpha. Godzilla is also joined slash joining Neo Tokyo as well. I think this is... I think them and off the grid, I think it's just going to be absolutely huge. Stuff that's coming up here pretty soon. Bloodloop is dropping here, actually here really soon. And we're going to try and actually get them on Neo Tokyo launchpad. But as you can see, they're also on Cedify as well. I think this coin is going to do really, really well. If you have the chance to get into it, hop in there. If you don't have the chance to get into it, you haven't KYC'd or you're not involved in launchpads. Like I've been talking about for the last year. If you listen to the last year, you're probably in a great spot right now. I think this thing is going to drive the hype, and I think it's going to do really well this run. Again, with these coins I'm discussing right here, do not get them at drop if you're not involved in the pre-sales. Just don't do it. You will get mashed up, grinded up by people that really know what they're doing, bots and everything. So watch these. Watch. Get ahead of the curve. Treeverse, again, I think this is going to be an absolute monster. It has a pretty famous CEO in the space. Everything about it looks great. They understand Web3 perfectly. This is coming out way off in the future. And in other ones I'd have to mention, G3, this is kind of like the E3 slash gaming awards of gaming, but a full platform where people can launch their games at. 
but they're also launching a full platform. And the thing that they have going for them is they have a massive following. They're already like the news network for games. They have a platform where they can already bring all these people in that they've already networked with. And they're the team behind Polka Starter, which is another good launch pad. I think it's going to do really well this run, but they absolutely slayed it last run. They know how to make a good coin and they know how to make it in the right place. I have a lot of faith in them. And then finally, the one I just got to talk about, it's no brain, but everybody knows about it would be and Amoka is dropping their own coin the mocha verse coin and i don't really have to talk about this one too much and is like the biggest brand they in nfts and gaming they're the biggest investor when this thing drops it's going to be a nuke if you have any way to get inside of that i would go for it or i would look for something similar these are a lot of my upcoming things that i think are really going to be huge they're not out yet you can't invest them or anything like that i'm just letting you know ahead of time this video will die down maybe you can go kind of peruse around there and find your ways or find ways to get into some of these things if you like them. And that, Kinosabi. It's the plan of the day. That doozy. I've disturbed my microphone. This video take too damn long. That's what's going on. I think there is a massive opportunity right here as Bitcoin goes up and we see that wave type formation that we just saw. And I think a lot of the coins that we talked about here are going to do very well if that happens. If we see a Q1 recession, I have to be straight with you, things look bad also on that front. We could see a big dip, but like I said before, I think we're going to come back, and I don't think we're going back to the lows we originally bought at a month or a month or two ago. I just don't. If you're buying right now, you are buying things at a 5, 6x, 300% up. There are a lot of people in profit that want to take that profit with your money. So you got to be aware of that too. This isn't like a month ago when we're buying things 10% off their lows. We're, we're playing the game now. We are taking some risk. And the thing I need to stress most of all in this video is like, yeah, I talked about a lot of coins right there, but you saw my logic and how I'm looking at these coins and why I'm buying them. It's not exactly rocket science why I buy these coins. I'm not reading these white papers. I'm not digging through things and combing through. I'm looking at the teams. I'm looking at the narratives. There are, oh my gosh, so many good projects going on here. They're all mostly in Neo Tokyo. I'm trying to get a place for you. But there's so many projects on here that are awesome that I didn't even have time to mention in this video. You got Ultra, you got Gods Unchained, you got Star Atlas, Engine is this good old tried and true, Alluvium that I didn't even talk about today. Like, that's just going to keep doing well. And I mean, there are a lot of good coins on here. And as long as you're in the top 50 right here, they're probably going to do well if the run continues and we see that wave type of effect go into play. So what I would do is I would look at this video and instead of being a drunken baboon and saying, Bucker shit this thing, I bite this thing. I just up, I just turn on like five different things on my computer. Instead, I, what I would prefer that you do is say, oh, why does he, what is he looking for right here? Hmm, he's looking for platforms and infrastructure. Hmm, Ultra seems to have that. Hmm, that seems pretty good. Maybe, maybe I'm going to invest somewhere uh, and use my head. And as you can see, there's a lot of coins. Like, for example, Ultra just started moving a whole lot. There's a lot of coins that really haven't made their move yet, as some of these other ones have. So, maybe think, young Padawan. Maybe go and say, oh, what about AI coins? What's going on with AI coins? You got you got so many great ones over here. You got Akash. I absolutely love Pal. That's probably the only one that I'm invested in right now. I don't dabble in AI coins, but I think it's going to be the most powerful. You can come over and look at all. Here's a whole other sector that is about to go nuts that you can apply all the logic I just talked about too. And I might make a video on AI coins because I definitely want to move in AI coins. I think that's the place that's going to go next after gaming coins. But I think we've talked enough today, don't you? Yeah. So look, if you want to get this info a lot faster, sooner, quicker, better, follow me on Twitter at CSS Becker. If you want to see pictures of my food again, I eat extremely interesting things. I also have a corgi and sometimes I take pictures on vacation. It's a Terribly unvaluable place to be, but if you like that, follow me at 4 a.m. Becker. And for the love of everything good, if you're interested in Neo Tokyo and you are serious about crypto gaming, you are the fool of fools if you're not there at this point. Almost every big project in the space, investor, influencer, they're all there. All chatting, all sharing alpha with each other. The alpha's pretty valuable. You should be there too. And you get access to projects early through the member-created launchpad. So, so... I got a lot of things to repair from that intro. It's gonna cost me a lot of money, so I gotta get to that.